five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you need. <coughs> so, I'm Jenny Y, and I live in an area which is right on the edge of Greater London. My address is Kent. I say I come from Kent. And Dartford is itself in Kent, but we are just at the end of the Bexley Borough. So this is definitely Kent here, Dartford. And our borough is, is quite a big one, but the part that I live in is considered quite isolated. It used to be called Cabbage Island. It used to be Market Gardens, and it's bounded by... This is all marsh, so there's the Erith Marsh, Slay Green Marsh. So this is all marsh area at the back. And I've lived there about 40-odd years. And it used to be a good thing that there weren't a lot of big roads. We were a community. We still are a community. And we have Slay Green Forum. But before Slay Green Forum got involved, I knew somebody who was involved with the Silvertown campaign. And that's how I found out about pollution and high levels because Greenwich is the next borough. So this is Greenwich Borough, only a few miles from where I live. So if they've got some nasty black spots, the wind changes. Mm -hmm. We can't just think in, well, this is my borough, so everything's okay. We've got, to, I think we've got to think wider than that. And Bexley is described as a moderate pollution area borough. So you would think fine, but it doesn't seem to be fine. Um, I've just written some little notes there, but so if this is Erif, and then there's a big dual carriageway. If we are aware around here are single track roads or single carriageways, around here single carriageways, these are all single carriageways. The main dual carriageways is A206. So I've got to get to where I live here, that is the railway line which totally dissects Lay Green. So therefore there's a lot of closes because the roads run up beside the railway line but don't cross it. So I can come round the back of Erith on this single carriageway area to get into Slay Green. Or I can come off the carriageway to get into Slay Green. But you either come in one side or the other side because the railway's through. So almost everything happens off this A206. This is the only dual carriageway in the area. You've got the Thames at the north there. So where there are industrial sites in Belvedere, those people and their trucks are coming through on that road. Down here, you've got the M25. So if they want to come in to sort of South East London, they are coming along this road as well. So life is getting difficult. The council just built 500 more homes here, but they didn't put any new access roads in. They're now going to build another 500, just next to those, a little well on the road. There's still no extra road. So we, knowing about Silvertown and their work, it, a couple of us put up some tubes, um, with myself and a lady from the Green, a Green Party supporter. We con contacted Andrew, Network for Clean Air, got the tubes and put some up. Now these levels, if the government levels are supposed to be lovely and moderate in Bexley Borough, why did we get almost double the NO2 <coughs> levels on this dual carriageway, which, sorry, here, which I live off of? So I live here, I have to go on that road. I've got no choice. And yet they're saying it's a lovely moderate area, but we found this is before those 500 homes were built and another 500 were coming. And I also then decided to join another group, as Bex in Greenwich Against Road Crossings. Now, why would you have been against road crossings? I simply feel that we've got this motorway here, which is four lanes. This is Belvedere, just a few miles from where I live. It's all single roads. They're coming onto this carriageway here. They're proposing the Belvedere Road Crossing. This is not going to be a single carriageway or pretty garden bridge. This, if this is the same as Starford, that's another four carriageways. Just a little bit further is Thamesmead. Again, there is proposed another bridge there, Galleons Bridge. Woolwich, Greenwich is all single 
single road, single carriageway roads. They have not said, we'll build a flyover, we'll, we'll put in some extra roads. And my worry is that it would be lovely to bring extra people. These are new bridges. They weren't there before. So they're new extra traffic. It's not saying to people, well, yeah, well, people will stop you and you in your carriageway. You'll be better off because there isn't another dual carriageway road to get them to that proposed bridge at Belvedere or to get them to the proposed Galleons Bridge. Also, if we have the Silvertown Bridge beside, which has been confirmed, I think, beside the Black Wall, when the Black Wall gets chocker, then people are backing up down our roads and our other exit, main exit route, if we don't want to go south, we've got the A2 here. And I'm sure that even people in other parts of London have heard of the sunny the sands and the Blackwall Tunnel. So if they're kindly going to put an extra four-lane bridge beside it with no roads, I just think it's, it's going to be ridiculous. Why, why would you build four-lane roads and not have anywhere to take the traffic when they go off? When you already know that you have mega problems there, you have mega problems at the tunnel, so, almost every day there's a queue and it all backs up through to us the continental lorries we have not been particularly picking on asda but asda have a distribution depot here and a distribution depot there <coughs> so their lorries are happily going along that road ocado would like to put a depot in belvedere so their lorries will be happily trogging along this one road the council have given permission. Slate Green is an area, I understand, of low employment. We need to encourage employment. So, just here where the railway line is, off this A206, this single carriageway road, which is another way to get into the back end of Slate Green, in this area here, they are proposing outline planning has already been given for a 24 hours a day vehicle um, distribution depot, so it's a very good idea in terms of pollution, bring the big vehicles in, cut the loads down, perhaps put them in more um, environmentally um, efficient vehicles to get them through to central London. But that is lovely, but that's going to be 24 hours a day light pollution for people who live off this road. That is going to be how many more foreign gentlemen getting lost in a part of accidents on our roundabout. Because they, this is the A206, they've got to come through to get there where this new depot is proposed. It's only got outline plan and permission, but you just think, how much can an area take? Mm -hmm. So, Slate Green Forum, when we do, did our initial surveys and we found that the council have got a monitoring site for NO2, but this is our road. <coughs> It's on this inside road here, called Whitehall Lane. No trucks go down there. It's a single carriageway road. The buses, I think there might be a bus goes down there, but the main bus routes, is, it's, we've monitored in, so if we're getting 70 along here, you might only be getting 25, 30 there. So I think we, are at the bottom here. We need to know, we need other people's advice of where to go from here. That I can see a lot of problems looming, but it's convincing local people to take action. And I think these localised maps that Dee suggested is a very good idea to try and engage local interest. And as I say, Slate Green Forum have given us money to do four, three or four monitoring through the year, because if you do one monitoring, people can say, oh, it was a really bad winter, it was a really bad year, there was a lot of smog. So your results can be completely invalidated. However, if you do, through the year, and I have got some detailed statistics for people where we've done February and then we've done June, but we've actually found in one of them that it, in February it was 64.7, hell, in June it's 65. Huh. So... Where people would, the council might say, it, or it was a really bad winter and the cloud was very low, that you do understand. But then, if you do it during the year, you've got a counter-argument there. Mm -hmm. And I think this is why it's also important to talk to other people. 
who are just over here, the Greenwich Borough people and the work they've done, because they've got some horrendous black spots. And I don't know about which ways wind blow, but I do feel that we can't look in isolation. And if anybody is able to help and talk about the statistics, well, I'm happy for them to do so. So I've got a comparison for people. But we are trying to get at least four in one year. So where we can't afford to do one every month for a year, which would be what the government would pre presumably be happy with, we've decided, with the help of Say Green Forum, to do the four in the year and see if we've got <coughs> enough evidence there for people to start taking it seriously. Okay, thank you so much.